सो है गाइज हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एच एस अकेडमी एडवांसिंग एच एस प्रोफेशन थ्रू अवेयरनेस सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बुक फॉर फायर प्रोटेक्शन प्रोफेशनल्स ओके अंडर अवर बुक रिव्यू सीरीज सो दिस बुक इज कॉल्ड एफ पी एच एज यू नो दैट फायर प्रोटेक्शन हैंडबुक सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर विजिटिंग टू अवर चैनल फर्स्ट टाइम दैन काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो यू कैन गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ एवरी सिंगल वीडियो दैट वी विल अपलोड इन द नियर फ्यूचर so let's get straight to the video so guys first of all in today's video we are going to discuss about fph this is basically from nfpa now what is the meaning of fph so fph means fire protection handbook we are basically targeting to in today's video the 20th edition of fire protection handbook volume 1 and volume 2 so some of you may be heard that name fire protection handbook which is uh, one of the recommended book by the nfpa for the cfps examination cfps in the sense certified fire protection specialist okay so if you are preparing for cfps then you must know about that particular book because this is the only book which are you are going to utilize in the examination okay so we are going to learn each and everything about that book how it looks uh, what are the contents inside that what is the pricing what is the length everything we are going to cover in this video so let's get straight to the video now so guys first of all let me introduce this book for you so see fire protection handbook is one of the comprehensively written book okay basically lots of guys and their expertise were involved uh, in in the preparation of this book basically okay if we see under that particular book so we have around 21 sections okay it is very long book already i am saying you 3464 3464 is the length of that book so you can estimate how long it is okay so basically 21 sections are there so under every section there are various chapters so if you totally saw the number of chapters it will be around your 211 chapters 211 chapters is a very big number so one by one we will see each and every section what you are going to learn there and what are the contents inside that section so first of all section number 1 in particular section number 1 we have around 9 chapters so in that 9 chapters you are going to learn about safety in the built and environment wherever you are living wherever you are working so what is the normal safety is associated with that means what is the natural safety safety in construction what are the norm, normal safety which you can expect or you can see in the normal environment which is already being constructed okay so in that nine chapters you are going to learn about all about that next is your uh, section number 2 under that we have around eight chapters in which you are going to learn about basics of fire and fire science you are going to learn about fire dynamics uh, pool fire jet fires Uh, each and everything about fire in a molecular or atom level okay they are not not just going to tell you about the definitions but each and everything about the fire what is the fire configuration what will be called as fire modeling what is ceiling jet what is thermal plume each and everything about fire so now we will go to the next section that is your section number 3 in which there are 11 chapters okay in 11 chapters you are going to learn about information and analysis for fire protection it means if you want to get the some information with regards to fire protection with regard to previous incidents that may ha- happen in your area so how you can utilize that information how you can get that information or if you are uh, in charge or if you are working as a fire officer or fire engineer somewhere and a fire incident accident happen in your area so how you can collect the data for the future reference so each and everything about that you are going to learn in that particular section section number 3 information and analysis for fire protection now section number 4 uh, there are five chapters that is called human factors in emergency so in that particular section you are going to learn about the things which come in a human mind when he is supposed or he is exposed to the fire okay human behavioral dynamics basically if you want to say in a simple language you can say it's a human behavioral dynamics okay there will be different types of model proux model decomposition model okay which will be applicable to the humans who are struck in the fire so what are the thoughts that, that will be come in their mind and how they will react to them how you can improve this models to improve the efficiency of them okay so these are all things you are going to learn about that now chap- section number 5 that will be contained as eight chapters fire and life safety education now suppose you are a fire officer or you are a fire auditor instructor fire protection engineer now you want to give the training you want to impart the training to your workforce to your areas okay where normal people are living so how you can give them the training okay what will be the configuration of the training room how you will deliver your messages what type of tools you can utilize for the effective learning of your participants and all so each and everything you are going to learn about that in total eight chapters so you can estimate 
if eight chapters are there how much you are going to learn about that particular aspect and one more thing interesting about that particular book is guys in every chapter okay in not every section in every chapter whenever you study one chapter there will be sub separate course for that for example if you are studying about sprinkler so there will be each and everything about course F what are the course applicable for that nfp 13 13d 13e 13r each and everything so after that if you are going to the practical world if you got any problem by using that book so you can just refer to the course instead of referring that much big book okay now come to the next section section number six characteristics of materials and products okay characteristics of materials and products which will contain around 17 chapters okay in 17 chapters you are going to learn about various materials and how they will be reacting on fire when they got fire what type of smoke they will release okay because as a fire protection engineer or as a fire officer you have the responsibility to reduce the risk of fire at every workplace so at that time material selection is a very crucial component okay so in this particular section you are going to learn about these materials what is cellulosic material what is non cellulosic material how to design that how to choose a perfect material for a perfect construction each and everything you are going to learn about here now section number seven storage and handling of materials there will be around five chapters if you want to store any solid liquid coal gas anything so you can learn here around in six chapters each and everything okay sorry in five chapters now come to the next section section number eight is special equipment special equipment so what you are going to learn here is different type of equipment you as you know that boilers are using we are using boilers in industries fluid transportation equipments various types of specialized process equipment we are using so you are going to learn about all these equipment which are crucial in major industries so around there will be around 13 chapters for that so in 13 chapters you are going to learn about all these equipments because sometimes generally what happen in the classrooms we are generally studying conventional definitions conventional what is fire fire extinguishers and all but when we go to the practical world so at that time in front of us there are various complex instrumentation instruments for example frts floating roof tanks distillation columns so at that time i've got we got lots of problems okay so to avoid these problems they are just introducing that part so you can know about these equipment so when you get familiar with these equipments in the practical life so you didn't get any confusion and all come to the next section that is your section number nine processes and facilities it is around seven cha 17 chapters so each and every process and facilities which we are using in the practical world it may be your water treatment plant sewage treatment plant it may be thermal power plant it may be your telecommunication facilities different type of sectors which which involve fire protection generally each and every sector requires fire protection but major sectors you will be covering here okay what are the special requirements for that if you are working in a marine what are the special requirement working in aviation what are the special requirement etp different thermal different so like that you are going to study in that section now section number 10 building services six chapters it means if you are working in a building as a fire officer so what are the services equipment there if lift is there hoist is there so what are the types of fire protection you can involve in them or what are the safety features you can include in them because lots of people are there in case of fire they are generally focusing on lift because they want to come out as fast as possible so they are totally focusing on lift so how you can utilize them how you can you should have a practical understanding of these concepts so you are going to cover all these things in building systems like for example building transportation system building conveyor systems and all okay so this is also going to be very crucial as a fire and safety officer now come to the next section section number 11 that is your fire prevention practices FPP in that you are going to learn about six chapter fire prevention practices okay six chapters will be there what are the best practices that you can impl uh, implement in your workforce or workplace to ensure your fire prevention in your organization okay next is section number 11 that is your non emergency fire department functions now this is very crucial guys why means there are basically 19 chapters as we know that what is the uh, what is the functions of fire department when fire occurs we need to go there and extinguish that and various functions are there but when there is no fire when there is no emergency what are the types of functions they perform uh, apart from that fire extinguishing activities so all that will be covered here their planning their equipment maintenance so totally 19 chapters are there so it will be very comprehensive for you okay now come to the next section that is your section number 13 organizing for public sector emergency response nine chapters it means if any public emergency comes so how you can organize them because lots of people will be there so how you can organize them in a proper way it may be your natural disasters so how you can because at that time also uh, there are some people there are some firefighters they talk, uh, they participate in them okay so how you can organize them next to your section number 14 detection and alarms you are going to learn about detection and alarm systems how they configured how they work what is fire signatures and all so around 10 chapters are there so again comprehensive understanding of fire detection and alarm system with the particular 
attached course okay there will be a reference for course also now section number 15 water supplies for fixed fire protection seven chapters now for example if you are using any water water fire protection systems so how you can store the water for them okay what are the different types of storage methods okay and potential problems related to that different types of instrumentation which you use in general way so lots of things again it is uh, basically technical wise okay lots of calculations will be there lots of technical factors will be there so be ready for that again stories will not be available in this book section number 16 water based fire suppression equipments okay so those fire protection systems which are used on water we are going to study here totally around 11 chapters are there it may be hydrant system water mist system ultra high speed water space system deluge system water space system everything we are going to cover here with the respective course come to the next section number 17 fire suppression systems and portable fire extinguishers so apart from water fire extinguishing systems what are the different system for example dcp foam what whatever we are using all we are going to cover here with the portable fire extinguishers okay not about fire extinguisher about their designing what is their history how they developed previously how we use these fire extinguishers how to design them what is the coverage area what is the fire extinguisher rating each and everything we are going to cover in this section Okay, totally this will be covered as in 8 chapters. Basically, there will be around 8 chapters for covering all these aspects. Now, section number 18 is confining fires. There will be around 6 chapters. Now, when fire occurs in a confined space, in a closed space, in a very limited area, so what type of phenomena they can show or how you can deal with such fires? Okay, you are going to study in that particular section. Again, it is one of the special sections. You can, you can go through it. Section number 19 is your structural fire protection. Okay, what are the effects that will be given to the structural members when they are exposed to fire okay so how you can design the structures with with the help of architectures and civil engineers so that you are going to study over there now there will be around your five chapters that will be included here next is your section number 20 protecting occupancies 20 chapters different type of occupancies for example shopping malls uh, your mercantile buildings your commercial buildings okay around 20 chapters will be there each and every occupancy will be covered here warehouses how you can protect them what are the different features different type of specialized hazards which are present over there and how you can deal with them now section number 21 is transportation fire safety transportation fire safety it uh, there will be around 11 chapters inside that okay so various types of transportation method for example railway transportation avian aviation transportation uh, transportation transportation by roads and all so everything you are going to study so there will be different means of transportation over there again you will learn a lot of things in that as i told you 11 chapters are there so again it is a, it is going to be very comprehensive apart from the stories okay so guys these are the contents and section which are included in that as i told you 21 sections and 211 chapters so again it is not practically possible to learn all that book so generally what nfpa says about this book is you can use that particular book as a reference guide okay generally those uh, guys who are preparing for CFPA certified fire protection specialist examination they basically utilize that book during a examination as you know that it's an open book examination so at that time this book is required to pass or to clear that examination okay so after studying that book you will be having a comprehensive understanding but as a student what how we can utilize that book in an effective way so basically let me give some information about this particular book after that i will tell you so this book as i told you 3464 basically this book will come under two volumes so the chapters 21 chapters will be divided in particular ratios in both the volumes volume 1 and volume 2 of the 20th edition of fire protection handbook now what is the cost of that so generally the cost will be around 20 plus k okay around uh, 21000 rupees or 20000 will be the cost for that you can purchase this particular book from amazon also as well as from nfpa official website also okay uh, this is available in hardcover as well as normal cover also now the main question comes how we can effectively utilize that particular book so see guys if you are doing any degree any diploma in fire and safety so at that time what you can do over there is take this book okay study slowly slowly because it's a very comprehensive book if you go to the language also it is too much technical so it may take more time than a normal book to study that particular book okay so you can start studying that so it may take around if you study one hour per day so it will take around one year to complete okay slowly slowly because calculations are also there different various topics are there which may which may not be possible you to understand so you, sometimes you may need to take the help from different guys those who are working with you 
or maybe from your seniors you need to take the help so how uh, this is how you can utilize that book so as per my opinion this is the best book you can utilize and the very good book if you uh, can download this syllabus also because as i told you i didn't mention here the chapter's name there are various chapters i told you already 13 chapter 20 chapters so you can just go to the nfta website just download the cf uh, cfp's handbook so here that you will get the chapter names just go through the chapters get the understanding about that book and i hopefully this book will be very helpful for you if you start studying that book so it will take your knowledge to the to a next level so this is the full analysis of this book guys if you like this video press the like button as well as share with your friends so you they can also get benefited from this video so thanks for watching have a nice day